My name is Sarah Van Patten and I'm a principal dancer with the San Francisco Ballet. When I was young, I went into a program that consisted of jazz, tap, and ballet. I think because I was kind of good at it, um, I wanted to do more of it. And it wasn't until maybe I was 11 or 12 that I was dancing every day seriously that then made that commitment to really wanting to pursue a career. I mean, now I look back on it and I think, wow, I can't believe I actually left home at 15 and moved to a foreign country and started making a paycheck and all of that. But it just seemed like the right thing at that moment and I knew that that's what I was aiming towards, was that I was gonna be a professional dancer. I was dancing Juliet and Romeo and Juliet. It was uh, John Neumeyer's version of Romeo and Juliet. And Helgi came to Copenhagen to set um, Sleeping Beauty. I'd been in Copenhagen for two years and I loved dancing there, but I was definitely ready to inch my way back to the States. That I, after meeting him, uh, came out pretty much right away to take class with the company um, and then obviously join. Dancing some of the full lengths for the first time will always be very memorable for me. Dancing Swan Lake, dancing Romeo and Juliet again. I've worked with a lot of choreographers, some numerous times, um, for instance, with Christopher Wielden. Um, I've worked on many pieces with him, and each one I've cherished. Also, uh, Yuri Posakov, Dancing Fusion, Yorma Elo's Double Evil. It was a very unique experience creating the piece, but some choreographers come in and know exactly what they want, and you know, it, you, it, you are just doing as they say. It's like Simon says. Um, and some choreographers give you an idea or a possible movement, and, and that I find is really interesting um, because then you actually start to shape it. So for your body, how you move, how you, if you move fast or if you move slow or if you move big or not, um, the movement is going to be that way. And so then it becomes much more personal. When I make a decision, it just, it's very black and white for me that that was the right thing. Um, and so when I think about, you know, the education and, you know, missing out or not missing out or just um, kind of the, the path that I chose. It's never a, a question of if I should have danced or not because that, that is who I am.